Okay. Uh, glad to be here. Sorry, my Danish isn't that good, so I have to take this in English, I think. Um, I will uh, try to introduce Axitoriot for you. Uh, and I will, my plan is to answer three questions. First of all, I heard a lot about an ecosystem. Uh, we are talking about it. What is it actually? What's the ecosystem in an investor point of view? That's a very important question, I believe. So I'll try to answer that. And then I will try to describe what Axitorit will do in Denmark and how we will develop the ecosystem in Denmark. We actually started already and I will give you some news and uh, update on that. And the last and most important question I believe is, uh, will it be a liquid market or not? That's the question I heard from all investors and that's the purpose of uh, all exchanges all over the world. And we got an idea how to do it and I will give it to you quite soon. So let's see then. This is Axitoriet. Nothing more, nothing less. In an, if we put it in the center of an ecosystem, it would start looking like this. One of the most, most important thing Axitoriet has done, and uh, a big part of our offering to both investors and to companies, is to help investors to get it more simple to handle, more simple to understand, more safe to be a part of and invest on Axitoriot. And it's the same thing for, for the companies. It has to be simpler, safer, easier to handle, and more visible. And one of the most important thing is our system to help the companies to provide information to the market, to you, the investors. It's really important that the information is understandable, correct, and I believe we are the only exchange in Europe at least that really tried to be a part of that crucial thing, the information to the investors. We are a part of the system, how to, dis to distribute it. And uh, that means that we actually talk to the companies before every single press release is sent out to the stock market. And that gives us the opportunity to, 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 to come with guidelines and s sometimes say, no, you can't do that. That's against the system or the law or something else. And that would make it more easy for investors, more safe for the investors and for the company. So that's a really big part of our product. So when we had that kind of dialogue with the companies and therefore the information to the stock market would be a bit better. Of course, the most important thing for investors is good development for the company. But still, the information is very important. So then it has to be sent out to the market. So we have a cooperation with the world's largest distributor of information, press releases to the stock market, Cision. And uh, they are sending all the press releases out uh, from all the companies to Axitor it to the investors. The next step really good company sending out the correct press release through a good system. Of course, it's, if, if nobody sees it, nobody reads about it, then nothing will happen. So we built it on an ecosystem. One of the most important thing is a cooperation with a news agency called Finbuyer. They're writing a really lot of news agency texts about the companies on Axitoriet. And that, that's a really good thing for the investors. Sometimes they don't write about it. That could be a kind of a message to an investor. Probably it wasn't worth even for the news agency to do a rewrite on. Sometimes they put the headline, this is a really, uh, really good news for, for, for one company, or sometimes it's not. But they will write about it, and that will help investors to easier and more safe trading and have easier to understand what's happening in the companies. If you look at it in Denmark for day, today, I don't really believe that Ritzau is writing a lot about the smaller growing companies. So you don't see it. 
in person. You don't see it in, in, uh, on websites, unless they pay for it, of course. But then it's paid information and not that valuable. This is independent journalist who is covering it. Really important. But they don't say if it's good to buy or not. Then you have some, uh, you need to be covered by analysts, of, of course, as well. That's only for large cap. Everybody knows that. Not in Sweden. The biggest analyst firm in Sweden is a part of the one of the major newspapers, SVD Börs Plus. They are writing about these companies. They are covering it. That helps investors. Easier to understand, more safe. And of course, it helps the companies as well. They don't have to pay for an analyst to, to write about them. And uh, of course, it's must much more valuable if an uh, independent analyst firm thinks it's good or bad. In the investor point of view, that's what you need. Somebody telling you this is not a good case, don't invest. Or this is a really good case, we believe in it, it's up to you. So we're keeping, keeping on with things like that. Next thing, we, we think it's very important that you have a very good picture about who's owning the company. So we have a corporation with a firm who is bringing ownership data into public. Next week, we'll start a cooperation with another company, the news agency D Direct, and they will provide us with technical analysis about the trading in these companies. They will provide a new technical analysis in every single company each second month and bring it to the investors, and that will make it easier to understand and more safe. And of course, more visible for the company, visibility for the companies. So we keep on with this. Key figures is important, of course. These guys provide us with that and make it visible for all investors. Another news agency who has started covering Axitorit in the next week as well. So one, some of the news agencies could say something, another one says another thing. That gives a more transparent picture for the investors, and that's also very important. The purpose is to bring the information to the investors so they can decide for themselves. And of course, that gives more valuable, in, more valuable information to the investors if it's brought to you by journalists also, except for the company, of course. And in the end, we try to put all this together on a website for each single company. It's an IR page that the company itself can use on their website or the investors can find on Axitory's website. So we have done all this and it ends up with a system where it's simpler, safer or more secure, it's visible for investors, and it ends up with a liquid market in Sweden. It's, it's really high turnover velocity, and that's one of the most important thing if you look at it at an investor point of view. Could we bring this to Denmark? That's maybe one of the big questions. So what have we done? We are building on, of course, the same basic idea to guide the company in the information moment, help them with guidelines and previewing the press releases. That's a basic idea of Axitoriet, and we'll of course, we'll bring that to Denmark as well. And the next step, cooperation with Cision. Yes, a Danish company traded in Denmark, in Danish Kronos, clearing a settlement in BP, listed on Axitoriet. They will send their press releases through the Cision system, and uh, they will spread it both into Denmark and into Sweden. That's important. You will reach out for the double number of investors. Next step, Finwire. They are hiring Danish journalists for the moment. They will write about these companies in Danish as well. And then they will translate it into Swedish. So we'll expose the company to twice as many investors. And that's one of the key ideas here. SVD Bush Plus. They are interested in good companies. They will write about the company, whatever it's Swedish or Danish. They haven't promised me yet to hire a Danish journalist, so probably it will be in Swedish. But the news agencies, they will cover what SVD Bush Plus do. And they will write about it, and you will reach out to the Danish investors as well. So we are actually 
already had started to build up this ecosystem all to, to be prepared to launch it in Denmark. And the purpose of it is to bring a liquid trading to the investors, because that's, that's the question in an investor point of view. And we do believe that from the beginning, which probably will be the first IPO will be in the end of April, the first day of trading for the first company will be in the probably somewhere around the end of May. There will be a lot of Swedish investors because these Swedish investors, they do li really like the Danish companies such as Saniona, Omnicar, as you have seen here today. They are greedy ones, so they want to be a part of it. And in Denmark, so far, there hasn't been many investors trading in growing companies. But in these Danish companies who already has stepped over to, to, to Sweden, there are a lot of Danish investors as well. If you put them together, it would be look like this. This is the answer to the liquidity question. We will have it work really well in Denmark. And from the beginning, it would be a really important thing that the Swedish investors is following. And they will do, because they like these companies. They have seen 24, 20, 22, I believe, Danish companies who already has moved to Sweden. And they learn that this is good companies. So they will keep on trading on them, even though it will be in Denmark. That's what Axitorit will do. Thanks for me.